Ayo hey, guys, what is up? Please awesome Mist here, and today we are back with another review. Today we have the Red Dragon Dragonborn, or the K630. So we have it with dustproof red switches. These are made by Octamu. And we got in the white color. So looking around the box, here you can see the Red Dragon logo, the specifications, a little bit more information, and the back. Now it does include a switch puller and a keycap puller. This is not hot swappable by the way. And a little bit more information. So it has high quality LEDs and overall seems pretty good. Now opening up the box. We see a few things here. Now we get this nice red dragon sticker, as well as the instruction manual. So it's supported in Windows and it's plug and play, key functions, and your RGB settings as well. And some questions that may be had. And that's the instruction manual. Here you get your keycap and switch puller. And here's your cable. This is an L-shaped USB-C cable to USB-A. It's not braided, but it'll do the job. And here's the actual keyboard itself. It's in this protective foam sleeve. And here's the actual keyboard itself from the back. We have our two rubber feet. And this is the side profile. And overall, it looks pretty good. So again, we do have our red switches. And now we are going to try a little mod that you can do. So basically, you can lube the stabilizers so that they do not make as much rattle. So let's do this real quick. Now, because these are not hot swappable, you would have to desolder. There's an easier way to lube stabilizers, and that is either with a brush or a toothpick instead of actually having to desolder. Uh oh. I'm slowly well, we got a little bit of lube on the keycap, but that should be alright. Alright, so this is the stock sound. And this is the somewhat lube sound. Now, it isn't night and day, but there definitely is an improvement. And this is a quick sound test. Overall, the keyboard sounds relatively well. Now plugging it in, we're able to see the RGB effects. So to actually change your lighting effects, you press the FN and Alt at the same time. And here is the Red Dragon software. So this software, you can customize every key. You have different color profiles. You have your macro keys. And overall, it's just pretty, pretty good software overall. 
it is a little bit simple but does the job just well so taking a deeper look into the dragonborn or k630 it is a wired 60 percent keyboard so it does not have bluetooth you have your options of red switches blue switches or brown switches. This is in the 60% layout, so it is much more space efficient. And the only thing they do sacrifice is extra physical keys, but that can be made up with your FN keys. You do have pretty good RGB overall, and you have 13 preset backlighting modes, which work relatively well as we showed before. And overall, this keyboard is pretty good. You have a detachable USB-C cable. It is a wired connection and you can adjust the height, which is nice. The weight is coming in at around 0.84 kilograms, so it's not super heavy by any means. Some of the features are an L-shaped USB-C cable. It is pretty portable, no slip stand, and a pretty good keyboard with pretty good drivers. And overall, this keyboard is a pretty solid bang for your buck. It is coming in at around 60 US dollars. And overall, it is relatively pretty good for the price. And overall, I would definitely recommend this keyboard if you guys are looking for an affordable 60% gaming keyboard. This does do the job pretty well for the price. Let me know what you guys think of this keyboard in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys did like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.